everybody. Uh, I am Michael Alexander. This is Angela DeSalvo, and Hello. this is the first episode of Purely Entertainment with Michael Alexander and Angela DeSalvo. <laughs> That's a lot to say. Uh, on uh, this first episode, we have, uh, we're over at the beautiful Breakwater in Monona, Wisconsin, and uh, Tim forgot his sunglasses. Oh, I'm sorry. As, uh, Ryan clearly brought sunglasses for everybody. Uh, this is uh, on the corner. <laughs> From right to left, we have uh, Tim Tripkosh, who is the uh, one of the owners of the Breakwater Monona. We have Sean Shell, who is a recording artist from the big city of Leland, Wisconsin. Represent. Uh, as I said before, I'm Michael. This is Angela. Hello. On the corner over here, we have Ryan Fielding, who is the owner of Paragon Customs. Hello. So, uh, uh, really excited to be here. We have... Uh, a uh, lot to talk about. Ryan, what are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about all sorts of shit. White Sox, specifically. Aviator <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> sunglasses. <laughs> Music, perhaps. How amazing the breakwater is. Uh, the benefits of drinking whiskey. Um, yeah, I mean, geese. We got all sorts of things. I love Ryan geese. Gosling earlier. We pretty sure he was on the side of the... Gosling with his white socks. Third house over. <laughs> Third house <laughs> over. Guaranteed. So, got three docks down. Yeah. So let's start with you, Ryan. Tell us a little bit about uh, what you do and what you have coming up that uh, is of interest? Well, uh, I'm a professional lunatic, really. Uh, I'll take these off for now. But uh, no, I, you know, so I, I, I own Paragon Customs. I uh, build, you know, choppers and hot rods and do painting stuff, and um, you know, work with you on, on different music things. Um, basically, just uh, yeah, you know, just. What do you do with me? I don't you know. I do my know. best shoulder shrug. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta tell Most them. You gotta days. tell them what you do with me. Yeah. So, they don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> what mostly, do you do with mostly, I, Yeah, I mean a lot. Really. But Some things you can't say. In regards to the podcast, <laughs> oh, uh, oh, okay. You know, we're, we're keep, yeah, we want to you know pre- not get kicked off the internet. So, like I, <laughs> we're PG thirteen bordering yeah, on yeah. R at well, times. I, I, and R. How come nobody's saying swear words? I did. I let I let an S one go. Seven. Yeah. Seven swear words. We can say. Seven. I right, yeah. got it. I mean, I watched the Tony Carlin they? thing earlier. Yeah. <laughs> we have Italian mark going yeah, for the yeah. <laughs> But no, you know, with 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 Michael, I basically just tail him around and and uh, you know. I, Provide sharpies for autograph signings. And stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that, so I can start with uh, a swear word. That's bullshit. So, <laughs> I mean, um, it is and it isn't. <laughs> but um, yeah, no. He know, spells I, his name in crayon. We all know that. <laughs> yeah. I know I don't use sharpies. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. A lot of, sometimes I have a little dish with paint in it so he can finger, you know, make his mark. Make his mark, I think they call it. One, two, three? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. But uh, yeah, so that's. That's, you know, that's, you that's also uh, had a security at some of the venues. Yeah, yeah, of had a security yeah, for yeah, me yeah, at yeah, a couple exactly. of the venues and festivals that I do. And yep. uh, uh, also, uh, what kind of mediums? I know that you have some pretty big clients as far as your art. Yeah, uh, me, me people at the university for yeah, hockey, exactly, uh, goalie yeah. masks, and the, the stuff that I do. Yeah, I range from you know uh, building custom bikes uh, for people all over the country, all over the world, actually. Uh, to yeah, work with the university, like you said, University of, of Madison, Wisconsin. Here with the actually the women's uh, I painted the women's goalie masks this year. They just won the national championship, which is pretty pretty righteous. Awesome. So way to go, Badgers! Badgers. Um, yeah, yeah. And That's, also down to the paint paddles at the VFW. Yeah. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So you uh, you have an account at the VFW? Paint, yeah. Uh, the, the numbers. On the oh, page. okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I, I, the years were not up to par at no, all. No, so I called you, <laughs> yes. and I said, the guy you, had one how you, job. How do you paint a one? I think was the main thing. Did you get it? It was very good. Yeah, it's good all squared away. Yeah. So now when I go to the VFW with my family <laughs> yeah, we, we for the meat raffle. The... Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah, we got it. So got some it. big clients, some smaller work too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like exactly. meat pedals. Yeah, you know, like meat pedals. Yeah, I mean anything meat pedal related. I'm, I mean that's kind of. I'm your thing. guy. Yeah, I'm your guy. Meat pedals. Meat Fair guy customer. <laughs> I think it's Paragon Customs backslash meat <laughs> meat paddle. Well, you can get there through bananafarm.org. That's, that is uh, my fake charity organization. Yeah. So, go to bananafarm.org. Uh, there'll be a, uh, a hyperlink to meatpedals.net, which will then bring you to paragoncustoms.com. Perfect. Yeah. Oh my Perfect. Yeah. So Ryan Fielding, everybody. Uh, let's. Uh, <laughs> 
Let's move on and uh, have Tim introduce yourself. Tim, uh, not near, not nearly as entertaining so as Ryan. I'm just gonna warn you that. How, how long have you known me? Too long. Too long. <laughs> what does that mean? For some people, that could be an hour. Five minutes. Just met you when we walked in here. No, I've known you since 1997. I moved up here in '97. Met you in '97. Okay. And uh, changed your life. Changed much. my life forever. I'm a changed man. Okay. Um, tell me, do you have any like extra special stories or entertaining? Anything that you, you can know, tell that your kids aren't going to be uh, embarrassed, embarrassed about. I was trying to figure out a story that I could say tonight, and then he said, "You can't say swear words. You no, can't you use profanity. You can't." Do, pretty much took all the fun out of it. <laughs> the one story I would say, and you may have to post this picture sometime or edit it in when you can, is the time we got all. I don't know. We. I don't know. Are parents listening to this? Mom, my, don't listen. My, Turn my it off. We were, be were we dizzy from spinning around in the room? We were dizzy from spinning around in the room, and we decided to dress up as a family, uh, two roommates of ours, this and you and I, and uh, went to J.C. Penney's and did some family portraits. <laughs> and, uh, like we it. actually got out of PDQ one time, and like, we got we drove there. We drove in costume in a car to to J.C. Penney's, but we stopped at PDQ to get something to drink. And everybody looked at us like we were crazy. A lot like oh, people. A lot like people would look at us right now if they were. If we were. But what were you lives. wearing for this family po so so I was, Tell me, it was all denim. I, I was a nerdy denim boy. I was a nerdy boy with thick coat glass, <laughs> coat uh, bottle, yep. coat bottle uh, glasses, and oh, not not these fancy things. These are. Fancy. And then he was. Uh, he was the mom. I was the mom. Michael was the mom oh. with the beard. Did you have the mustache? Uh, yeah, I had a full did beard. Did you have your hair all lo yeah. like curled up? And... I had a big white wig on and a mom bonnet. Oh. Was there a I... fan person? There was <laughs> anybody to no. get the hair blowing? We no, need no, a hair no, no, no. Next time. Um, it was sure. J.C. Penney's, my friend. We it wasn't. JC Penney's, it was... And with a straight face, we walked up and we said, "We're here for our our family portrait sitting." And we all came in. We were in full costume. We had uh, two guys in drag as uh, one is a kid, oh. one is a mom. And uh, then, both went to Edgewood. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. We had raided. Uh, I think we raided the costume department or something over Edgewood. At Edgewood. And uh, we walked in, and we didn't say anything. Like we tried to pretend like we were just here for our family portrait, and they just lost it. Of course, we walked in there, started rolling, laughing. We took the pictures. And they blew one up to hang at <laughs> J.C. Penney's indefinitely. I like it. And uh, it's down. So if anybody has that, please send it in. You can bring it into Breakwater. I will buy you a round of drinks for whoever. And that's it. it needs to be. A, you guys don't have it. It needs to be. We no, we have the small ones, but they had the big like they made a four big by four one. Well, it might have been eight by ten. No, it wasn't. That is the the Breakwater in Minona, Wisconsin. Yeah, come on. Bring it, bring it down. You get a, you drink all night for free. You free. one person can drink all night for free. Bring me that poster. It was huge. I love huge. It. All right, so Sean, we have Mr. Sean Shell here on it. Tim, thank you. Appreciate that. Oh, thank uh, you. Come down I uh, Breakwater here in Monona, Wisconsin. The food <laughs> is incredible. Uh, the uh, You guys have a, a space right here on the water. So it is one of the only places in Madison where you can come up in your boat. It's an incredible establishment. If uh, you get a chance, stop down. It's uh, Tim Trip Kosh. Uh, and uh, you have a couple other owners, anybody, uh, silent owners, anybody that you want to give a shout-out to? It doesn't no, matter. No, they're all, I mean, our, our chefs and owners. Uh, we got owners that participate in the success of this business, so everyone really cares about it. It's not just one person running okay. it from afar. Uh, so we have a lot of uh, people who actually care about this place, and it's been it's been trying for a couple years because of the weather, the flooding, and stuff last year. We have construction going on right now, but we are open and we are busy. Uh, it's great. We had problems getting into a room today um, yeah, for, yeah. for this, so no because we were busy on a Thursday <clears throat> night, like extremely busy, and we were able to, uh, you know fight off the construction so we're looking forward to people coming down um and when the rooftop opens hopefully get some of you guys out here and yeah. some friends of yours and we'll hopefully Angel do will one up on the roof yeah. we'll hopefully do one on <laughs> when that we do one of these on the rooftop when that rooftop <laughs> opens, opens the i will wear a speedo and dive off okay, the roof cancel, into the lake cancel cancel the i don't care it's fine i will do it we'll have the paramedics ready so, <laughs> so ryan's gonna do that Cancel the show. Uh, I, awesome. <laughs> so you have multiple owners. Uh, people are invested in it. And you are one of the core owners. I know that there was a couple years out after college that were fuzzy. Do I own this at all? Do I have any stock? I think in this? I lost something <laughs> to you when we were playing <laughs> poker, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't the ownership rights to this place. Okay. I uh, think right. it, that uh, seashell painting <laughs> there is. <laughs> yeah, this one. It looks like that could soft. be mine. Or maybe the That's, bunny. Uh, yeah. So yeah. I just like to check. You no, know, it's it, it'll be a couple fuzzy years. 
<laughs> yeah, that was it. I think it was at the Club Tavern. That makes sense. Give a plug to Moose yeah, at the Club Tavern real I did quick, get my you know? start. Uh, I did get my start at the Club Tavern. Can't can't deny that. You did. I appreciate that. Uh, the ability to get a start there. Uh, so. Moving on to other stuff, Mr. Sean Shell. <clears throat> So this is Mr. Sean Shell, a good uh, friend of mine. He likes uh, white socks. That I met through Ryan. Uh, he really <laughs> likes to wear white socks. He's a white sock aficionado. <laughs> yep. You guys were saying he liked the white no, socks, he like the, the no, Chicago no, white socks. No, 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 no. no. I was like, he's not wear, like white socks. To wear white socks. To wear white socks. To wear white socks. He likes to buy white socks. Cotton. And wear them. And then he wears them in the house. They say Hanes and they get dirty. But they kept saying white socks. I'm wearing white socks. So Sean. Oh, do you have something more important? Yes, I have about? something more important <laughs> than, than <laughs> what you put on your feet. So Sean uh, is an outlaw country artist. Uh, he plays with my band Big Whiskey. He has a solo thing. He is an incredible outlaw country artist. He is uh, from one of the only towns that I know of that is smaller than mine. I graduated uh, from Bartlebo, Wisconsin with about 28 people in my class. Sean went to uh, a bigger school, but he's from Leland, Wisconsin. And how many people in the town? Twelve? There's, there's 10 <laughs> houses, two bars, and a church. Oh, and a ho- oh, how wait. many of them are related to you? <laughs> uh, seven of the 10. Seven of the 10. <laughs> so, and who owns the bar? Uh, also family. Uh, <laughs> how about the church? That's not family. All right. All right. <laughs> Most of them are buried there. I was baptized there, if that means anything. Okay. Yeah. No, it does mean, it means a lot. Uh, good small town folk. That is, uh, well, I... And, and, not, and not to, uh, uh, be out with Dunn, but uh, across the street from your uncle's bar is the last bar in the state of Wisconsin where you could buy a gun and a shot of whiskey. Shut the front door. Sitting at the bar. Shut the front door. Jun- Junior was the, his grandfather then. He was about, how old was he when he died? 90, thereabouts? Yeah. Oh my oh, God. Yep, That's so when he died crazy. and it couldn't be transferred to his daughter, but up until when he died, you could buy a she 357 revolver. Shut. She still has it. She uh, does she still have it? Firearms license. Yeah, so you can buy. You can still buy firearms. You can get a shot and then say, hey, sounds, hand me that. Sounds at the really same time. That's shot and shotgun. Time. No, there's, there's still okay. a waiting, shot and shotgun. There's still a waiting period. Like yeah. there is like good. any licensed good, good, good. firearm dealer. But, but you okay. can buy a shot it's and take a gun one. off the wall and shoot it out the back door to test it out. <laughs> as long as you kick the door. <laughs> well, the back door is kind of technical. Welcome to Wisconsin. Oh. Oh, Leland, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I mean, I'm not joking. <laughs> yeah, it's a fact. That, I'm not kidding. You can go <laughs> test it out. Back door of the bar. So uh, I did. Um, Leaving very- Wisconsin uh, tourism dot org. <laughs> 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 Hyperlink. Banana farm dot org. Banana farm dot org. Check it out. It's, it's a hyperlink <laughs> off of banana <laughs> or whatever. Yeah, on fifteen left. Yeah. Okay. Well, you, know, okay. you got to plug your Facebook, by the and way. Shellbone. Yep, we will. Oh, yeah, um, I'm already. I do too much talking. So, uh, <laughs> so the uh, on the topic of firearms, um, interesting. Uh, the most interesting firearm story from any time that I've been on the road was in Kennesaw, Georgia, when I was down there recording with Jesse Kennesaw. James Dupree. They have a law in Kennesaw, and every head of household in the entire city. By law, needs to have a firearm. So what's the crime rate? Zero. Uh, it dropped considerably. Uh, actually, it, it, I mean, all not to get political because it has nothing to do with it on a, on a large scale. It has nothing to do with the city, but uh, they did find that when everybody has a gun, nobody comes knocking on your door <laughs> to Smart. rob you. I wonder why. Uh, so crime did go down. Uh, but uh, I appreciate uh, you coming on, Tim. We're going to get uh, actually our cameraman is also a uh, recording artist Sweating. Rick from right here in Madison. Um, another person that I've done a bunch of collaboration with. He has done some music videos for me. Uh, the very talented uh, Josh Rick. Yeah. Thank you, Tim. I appreciate Thank you, you so much. Thanks, Michael. I wish you. you guys Thank the best so of luck, and I look forward to doing another one oh, we this summer when the sun is out. It's not April cold. So, brings, sounds no perfect, Tim. Thank, Thank you so much Thank for Thank you so much out. for having yes. us. Thank and thanks for uh, playing ball and wearing those beautiful sunglasses. Yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> you want it aimed up at my mouth? Yeah. See, look at that. He comes on the show and he's giving me notes because he's also the director. <laughs> it all works nice. He's going to okay, direct from this side. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we, we forgot. We kind of got away with it. Yeah, we got Okay. Are these mine? Yeah. I have indoor sunglasses. How are you, Josh? Rip? I am doing great. Blessed. I'm awesome. Good. Thank you for coming out place. today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank so, you Josh, uh, tell me a little bit about how you met me. 
why are you sitting at this table? And uh, uh, he's why asking himself that same question. <laughs> <laughs> why are you helping us out? How do I know you? God's plan, really. No, um, I'm trying to think. When was did I, did I meet you when you were at Whiskey? I think you were performing. You I think that was like the first time. I think I was on the road with Rick Monroe, and you were the uh, resident DJ. Yeah, and I was I doing came sound, and then yeah, I was running. So I, I think I ran sound for you guys, and that was like maybe eight years ago. It was yes. And then, um, I, honestly, I don't even know. It's one of those things that just kind of evolved, like, Agreed. kind of naturally, organically. You know what I mean? Yeah, we went on all kinds of things. Like, just inner, inner, it's And then it snowballed into. And then, I mean, yeah, next, next thing you know, know. Now. <laughs> Open doors. I don't like the rush. I'm more of a <laughs> pull up chairs. Oh, man. Open doors. Put the napkin in. Here, I got you. Um, so tell me, uh, Obviously, we know that you have a production company. You're uh, incredibly talented with, um, you know, with all of the video aspect. Uh, tell me a little bit about your music and uh, some of the stuff that has came up recently for you. Some of the incredible opportunities that you've had. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I started pursuing music when I was just a teenager in my bedroom at, back in the mid '90s. So, over 20 years now, um, man, it's. I'm kind of Can you clarify that there. just a little bit? How exactly does one pursue <laughs> music in their bedroom in the mid '90s? I mean, <laughs> you okay? So I mean, if you really want to get into it, I don't know if we have time. But honestly, like, so I mean, I, I was always ahead of the curve. I was always ahead right. of the curve. All right. And um, I, I actually, I, I was, I was actually one of the first people that I know of, just in my inner circle, my high school, anybody that I know, I put my it's music great. on the internet. Back oh, in, the, sure. in in the nineties, you know when um, like uh, AOL chat rooms, AOL, like so. So do you remember Geo It was like a free <laughs> yeah. web host. Yep, yep, of course. So I mean, like I figured out, I, I used Angel Fire and I put up my own website. And I wasn't mm -hmm. even like, I mean, I wanted people in my in my school to recognize me, but I was like more fascinated with this was just when the AOL boom and the internet and everything was just coming. Yeah. And I was just so fascinated being able to talk to people across the world. And I'm like, I'm putting my stuff on the internet. I realized the power of the internet before before there was YouTube, MySpace, yeah. Facebook, any of that. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I'm talking about in the 90s, and I started my independent record label, and I put all my content on my website in March 2000. Actually, it was on since, like, 98, 99 was one sure. of those Angel Fire, but then I officially okay. got a host. Before I even had, like, I my first job was at Blockbuster Video, and I got a, a credit card at 18. You know, they just give you a couple hundred dollars. Yep. And I, I started my, my website. I got hosting, and the d domain name, which is still live to this day, 19 years later. Nice. That's awesome. Rip-records.com. Awesome. that brings you all the way up to, like, you... We're nominated for a Grammy, right? Yes. I, I wasn't nominated. I was considered for a Grammy. I was the yeah. stage, the step right before the nomination. I didn't get enough votes but for you nomination. Did I go. actually, that, that, I was actually hopeful this year because I had a lot of uh, recording you academy for Grammy members. Consideration. Yeah. And uh, I don't know um, how many. Obviously, most people don't know this, but there are certain levels uh, the process in the. Grammy yeah. There's multiple. There's mu there's multiple yep. stages to even get to that level. So being at that level was. You know, um, just rewarding yeah, and a an blessing honor. in itself. Absolutely. So it was an honor. Absolutely. So yeah. So I mean, the Recording <laughs> Academy invited me to the Grammys. I went out to LA this last. Um, uh, it was February actually, uh, with my boy Nick. And I mean, we had a ball, man. I mean, I can't. I, my mom flew out, and I I, I surprised her with a ticket to the after party, which you only get one guest. So my boy, my boy Nick was another guest, and I actually got mm -hmm. away to get my hands on another after party ticket. That's and I brought awesome. my mom to that, and I was just like, That's so that was cool, she had yeah. a ball, man. It was awesome. It yeah. Was, so yeah, I mean, from the yeah, like I said, the beginning of. Interneting. I mean, yeah. Like I didn't even have a computer in '97. I just got that computer. Yeah. Let alone think about websites. From that to <laughs> perseverance, 20 years plus. Yeah. Thereabouts, and you have uh, yeah, considered for a Grammy. That's that's. That's amazing. That's, that's right. a point it of accomplishment. It really is about staying in the game. And, Absolutely. Uh, I mean, I think anybody that uh, perseverance. Yes. Um, you know, after the the first 10 years of uh, telling you that it is impossible and that you don't have a chance and it's never going to happen. Uh, if you can stay that first 10 years, then there's a possibility for you. Oh, yeah, Absolutely. nothing. I mean, nothing happens overnight. You know as ridiculous like, as well, that sounds. Uh, no, but honestly, that I first think that with, really honestly, I think that's with anything. You know, me doing hair, how many times any hair stylist you talk to right out of school, they're going to say the same thing. I, well, I'm glad I paid this much to not want to do hair. Yeah. It's always the same. It's You just stick to it because that's all you know at the time. Absolutely. And, no, and so you, you, you stick to it, and then too, yeah. 10 years later, look where it brings you yep. with a there's lot of things. There's levels to this shit. There's, yeah. a lot of, there's a lot of underlining things that people don't see. Yeah. Yeah. Not everybody can draw on a napkin, uh, slide it across to the teacher, and uh, make a bunch of money like Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it was my phone number, I, and the teacher was hot, so back off. I mean, painting, <laughs> painting the rest battles of us is a big deal. you got to stay in the game for a minute. Yeah. 
<laughs> we're not all dating our uh, eighth grade teacher. Oh, man. <laughs> were you really? Seventh. Seventh. <laughs> Cheryl Ackett, if you're watching. <laughs> Smith, Smith, Miss Smith. Smith, yes, Miss Smith. Keep it simple. So, um, what's um, next for you? What do you got coming up? Man, I don't know, man. I mean, I mean, I don't really want to to spill the news. Yeah, don't. Like if that, you know. I got an announcement that. Well, we have whatever, so. I mean, I'm still working on music. I'm we working. have so many followers at this yeah. point. I mean, <laughs> we it, have about it, 55. I mean, you can like, probably let everyone know. We have about 55. And both people that are watching this podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're gonna Michael's, be like, Michael's <laughs> folks, my mom. My family alone is 30. Town. Town. <laughs> my family alone is about 30. Yeah, yeah. 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 in my town. We don't have the internet. Town of Cleveland. We don't have the internet. He has a hot spot I think on his phone. So if, like, if you want to break it. Yeah, no, I mean, I mean I'm, I'm starting work on a new album. I mean, we have about 75 total. Yeah, yeah, everything. no, I'm, I'm starting work on a new album. Um, and uh, it's just, for those who have been following me, like I started a new direction in my career, you know, after 20 years, like it's kind of, I mean, just like regular life, you know, you, um, you have different growths and different eras and stages in your life. And that's kind of what my music reached in the last couple of years, so. Um, I'm excited. I'm working on a new album. Um, I have other things I want to do uh, as far as like eventually writing a book. Um, I'm awesome. a youth leader now in my church. Uh, I am, I'm going to get into producing and directing my own movie one of these days, one of these years. I mean, just so many things, man. I just, I feel like I have a life. You have a lot of goals. A plate full, a lot uh, of, yeah. plate full stay of, hungry, brother. of things that you my should life. be. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. You and I are shooting a full Western for a five minute uh, music video for Jesse James. I'm excited awesome. for that. That is incredible. I'm excited, excited for that. that I've is... always wanted to do a Western video. That's oh, Michael yeah. Michael reached out to me um, awesome. to produce or to direct. I actually did uh, Simple Man for you. <clears throat> yep, he did but the Simple But he, he reached out to do Jesse James, a Western themed video, and I'm really excited for that because like, I'm glad that he reached out to me because. Um, I told I, you it needs to be really big. I don't want to be overwhelming, but it has to, it has to be over the top big. And you said you, you said <laughs> something like, like you said like, if there, if there, anyone could do it, it's it's you. You're yeah, the man or something like yeah, that. I think yeah. his exact words were like, it needs to be like a Rick Rubin produced thing, except better. <laughs> so like, if you can make I can that do that. Happen, I you're can the do guy. That. You're the guy. He told me you're the guy. <laughs> I like to uh, challenge people. Which is why. Um, yes, I've been. I've had. Here. I've had anxiety all day. But only challenge people <laughs> that I know. She has peed no less than yeah, seven uh, times. Okay. She's so quick. You haven't noticed her leaving and getting up and coming back. <laughs> uh, I want. That looks like beer, though. It's actually. This is beer. <laughs> this is. You had to let it rip. Uh, the she The first time that I ever had <laughs> Sean Shell play it's with she me. Wee. No, I have this. How many days did I give you to come up and uh, open for Saving Abel? Days. Okay, how many hours? <laughs> day of, wasn't it? One, They're about was day it of? an hour? It yeah, was like 12 like, hours. It's so we had a... It was, it was that afternoon. <laughs> we, had a, we had a five hour drive. You. We were doing direct support for Saving Able, five hours away. And I taught him the set list while I was driving up to the concert in the truck and trailer. I said, just, I need a guy. And you're my guy. Play a little and he goes, ditty. do what? And I said, I need another band member. Are you in? <laughs> can, I, can I at least go change my socks first? And, and the white one. Though I mean, like adaptability, man. That's no, that's because dope. All, sorry, sorry. no, no, no. Because all of you, I mean, when you challenge somebody, you know that they're going to step up yeah. and challenge. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I wouldn't. You know, just like when oh, I said yeah. to Ryan, I dear agree. Ryan. I bet you can't drink that entire bottle of whiskey in 17 minutes. <laughs> and Ryan looked at me and he said, I'll do it in 12. And then are you going to have a beer chaser? <laughs> true story, Ryan? True story. Oh, it's all true stories. You hear nothing but the truth on this podcast. <laughs> as as hard as great. it may be to believe, nothing we say is exact. If, if anything, it's toned down just for the believability factor. Yeah, funny. most of everything. It's like when Kubrick did Full Metal Jacket, and they had to bring it down a couple notches because people wouldn't believe it. <laughs> yeah, we had to have the talk to tone everything down because there is a brand that a lot of us uh, need to adhere to. We want the truth, but the truth that maybe a mellowed out version, like a watered down, just a bit, <laughs> like adding a little ice to the whiskey. <laughs> uh, the the real story might be just a little bit too much for everybody. 
Like instead not of Jack so. Nicholson, you can't handle the truth. We need like a Ryan Gosling. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, you can't maybe. Oh, you know, this guy. Maybe the truth isn't right for you. Yeah. Maybe yeah. it's not your oh, thing. Oh, we're going into that now. What's the thing? What's the this guy? You know. It's sad. Uh, it's okay. It's a whole thing, you know. It's a thing we do. When we're out to dinner, you know, we talk out like this. So now he doesn't have the glasses on. Now like uh, I, I just I had it. It's it's too dark. So are you? Too, that makes you feel bad. <laughs> so I'm Michael Alexander. I support these sunglasses. Uh, Sean and I were gonna play a song on the acoustic. Do we have time to make that happen? I think. Or I, not. While you pack up. I got like four minutes. You got four minutes. Okay. To sing some stuff. Can you do it, it while you pack? And start playing. Grab it quick and. Uh, this so. is. Purely entertainment with Michael Alexander and Angela DeSalvo. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Hey. Right. I also need whiskey. That makes sense. All right, let's go. Let's go, brother. Well, I woke up this morning, was it drizzling rain? Around the corner was a passenger train. Heard somebody yodle in a hobo moan Give me the dead, it's been a long time come Been a long time come Been a long time come If you wanna go to heaven, got a D.I.E. Gotta put on your coat and tee out Wanna get that rabbit out that L.O.G. Gotta make a commotion like a D.O.G. Like a D.O.G. Like a D.O.G. <clears throat> well, I got a good woman, what's the matter with me? A man I wanna love every woman I see. I was traveling when I wrote this, now I'm driving again. If a woman should see, you look like a place I came in. Look, a place I came in. Look like a place I came in. Well, I got my name painted on my shirt. I ain't no ordinary dick, I don't have to work. Well, I woke up this morning, was a drizzling rain Round the corner from the passenger train I heard somebody yodel in a hobo morning Jimmy's dead, it's been a long time gone, been a long time gone Everybody. Thanks for watching. This is Purely Entertainment with Michael Alexander and Angela DeSalvo. <laughs> Thank you guys.